Hey, it's Mr. Lee Nice here, and this video is just showing a uh, dual knife configuration that I set up, and it is sort of a video response to a buddy of mine at MER171 or MER171, and he has a dual knife uh, configuration, I believe it's with like his uh, Swamp Rat knives, and um, I set mine up, I have the uh, Topps Armageddon, and I'll pull that out of my homemade uh, sheath, I have a video up of me uh, showing off and, sh and showing how I made the sheath for that. So I've got the tops in there. And I have uh, just recently acquired this. This is the uh, Columbia River Knife and Tool, the Spew. But I saw this knife and uh, I thought it was a pretty, pretty cool design with the Warncliffe Warn style blade. And then, but what really struck me was uh, the, the handle. It was like a brownish, it seemed more like a G10 while I was kind of looking kind of closer. Um, but I thought that was a really cool little knife to kind of add on to uh, my sur this survival uh, knife uh, kit or the survival uh, friction sheath that I made for the tops. And it's kind of funny um, size wise <laughs> if you, you compare like I was wanting to get a larger knife to fit on the sheath. And um, I ended up just, I, but I, I saw this one in a knife shop and it really caught my eye. I thought it was a, pr a really good price. I think these go for around like 30 to 35 right about now. And I uh, really liked it, so I thought I thought it would go well. So uh, it was, it came with the uh, like a, um, I think it's like similar to like a Securex sheath. It might be Kydex, but I'm thinking it's more of like a mold injection molded plastic. And uh, I was just really uh, really pleased with it when I when I checked it out. I thought it would go really well on my my kit here, and uh, it did. It came with paracord uh, paracord neck lanyard or paracord like neck lashing. And I was able to easily uh, kind of just tie that down into my sheath, and I think I think I mean from what I can tell, I, it's going to be a great companion to the larger tops. Like I said, I wish uh, that I maybe you know did get a little bit of a larger knife, but I'm but I'm thinking that this is going to work well for me having the dual knife combination, and this would be like my the first knife that I would kind of get you know maybe for like smaller uh, jobs or you know more tedious work. And it has like that little, you know, the worn clip style with the, like a pick point. And I thought that, you know, would be a good companion to the top. You know, having such a large blade and having a small one, you know, nice and sharp that it could do more, you know, smaller or more menial uh, tasks like that and have the larger blades. So, you know, that having having that on there I think is going to be a great addition to it. But basically, the and I'll just show the way I will carry it is first off the way I design the sheath is it has the belt loop attachment with this uh, buckle. The way I would uh, have it is like I have my buckle belt attachment system that, uh, that I threw on the back. Okay, it just clips on like that. And so the Armageddon is just a go-to um, kind of belt knife. And really, in my opinion, if you have a knife this large, you're going to want it mounted higher on your belt. That way it's easier to get to and it's not like, like uh, in my original Armageddon review, the Armageddon went all the way down to my knee and I'm, I'm a tall guy, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm over six feet tall. So having, you know, on me, I couldn't imagine on a shorter person having such a long knife. So I think this is a good configuration knife, easy to grab by my hip here and I have the smaller, um, the spew down here and that'll be my kind of like my go-to knife and I can go, I can grab it left hand or right-handed, so I think that configuration will work well with that dual knife configuration. I've got my survival pouch, my dual mag pouch right here, and I can get that with my left hand. I can pull out the tops with my right or my left at that point. And then lastly, I want to show the configuration that I would carry it in, that I'm most comfortable carrying it in, and that is the scout style. And that works really well with the sheet system. In fact, this that's the main reason um, I designed this was to carry it like that. And, and then I know it'll work well with um, the spew as well. Just simply like that. And the spew is down there. I can just pull that out right or left handed. And it just goes right back in. Tops can easily pull out right handed. You know, put back. Not a big deal. And just carry it like that. It keeps my hands free. I can even I even carry a backpack over that. And I've shown this also as well in, in a video as my scout uh, scout carry style. So overall, I think the dual knife configuration 
is going to really work for me. Like I said, um, most people would carry like um, a larger knife than this on, um, you know, to carry. I know Murr uh, does, but I think for me, the smaller sort of neck knife is really is really going to work for this, and it's just a really an excellent addition onto this uh, kind of survival uh, friction sheath system that I have set up for my tops Armageddon. But anyway, that's all I've got. So it's Mr. Leonidas signing out. Thank you for your time.